I'm just starting to jump into the episodes now. I'm not, I'm not even, you know, trying to get prepared. I think I like the element of surprise that I give myself when I watch these videos back and I commentate over the top of them. This video is going to be a little bit shorter because I couldn't quite fit everything into um, 10 minutes. I had to go a little bit under, but there's some videos this week that are a little bit over, so hopefully that compensates. And I think maybe if I talk a little bit more at the beginning, you guys are going to feel like you're getting your, not your money's worth, because you don't have to watch this with ads um, all the time. You know, the content ID doesn't work all the time, so the ads aren't always on. But um, hopefully you guys feel like you're getting your attention spans worth. Because <laughs> I feel like sometimes it's cheated when, like, Game Grumps episodes are too short, or when my favorite Let's Player, Stephen George, when his videos are too short, or when his vlogs are too short, it feels um, it feels like I've been gypped, you know. I, I'd like to have a nice, meaty episode to get into. I'll show you guys a photo that I took yesterday. I went to the Karakata Cemetery. Karakata is a place in between Perth and Claremont, um, and it's where my ancestors are buried, because um, my family has been in WA for a really long time, you know, maybe... Almost hundred, almost for one side of my family, basically like a hundred years, but the other one's been here for maybe a hundred and eighty years. That's almost as not eighteen twenty nine was when Perth was founded, so it's coming up on two hundred years now. So maybe I think no, but I think I do have some family members who have been here ever since Perth was founded, like people who came out in the first ship, which was crazy. But anyway. This photo I took in the cemetery, I was trying to look for my ancestors' graves and I could not find a single one of them. I had no idea where it was. I walked around for an hour and a half and I couldn't find my grandfather's grave. I couldn't find my uh, my great-grandparents' grave. Um, yeah, it was it was awful. I think I'm going to need to go there with a family member, maybe my mum or my uncle, so that they can show me where the grave is so I can take some photos of it. But um, I really did enjoy going there and taking photos with my new camera. Um, it's, a, it's Perth is a really beautiful place and we've been having some really nice weather recently like today's a really nice day it's really cold but it's really sunny at the same time so you can just walk for miles and miles and never get sweaty or anything it's really really nice but anyway we'll, uh, we'll stop this jibber jabber and we'll get on to what is probably some of the most infuriating footage that I've recorded it took me maybe an hour to get through this mini game but luckily with the power of editing we can uh, cut it down to quite a short episode so here we go so we just came back from the Great Fairy Fountain and we've got to go straight away into this particular mini game here. This is that <laughs> this professor's in the way of me. This is this old man. Okay, so this is the Bomchu bowling alley. This is possibly one of the most infuriating infuriating mini games of the game, apart from the shooting range in the um, Gerudo Desert. Um, it's it's just it's completely random. There's no skill required for it at all. You just kind of just wait for these chickens in the middle of the alley to move out of the way. And sometimes bombing the chickens helps put them in the right position. But um, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. I end up spending almost all of my money trying to get all of the rewards in this game. There's a heart piece. There's uh, a a bigger bomb bag. I think it's the biggest bomb bag as well. So this is what we can learn. It's just some bombs. But I'll show you how to complete the game now. So the middle of the alley, so you have to, most of the time, you're putting a bomb chew, which is like this motorized bomb that almost hit that blade trap. You're, you're putting a, a bomb chew into a hole in the wall, and uh, most of the time it's in the center, but um, sometimes it's on the left or the right. And when it's on the left, it's really difficult. But the center of the alley is actually to just to the right of that arrow there. I think they did that deliberately to trick you. Most of the time you have to stand in the middle, or basically all of the time you have to stand in the middle of the um, alley and throw the bomb chew down in that manner. So I'm just going to show you how to complete the game once. And all you have to do is just complete the game over and over again to get all of the rewards. And I think the only two rewards that we need to get are the bigger bomb bag the biggest bomb bag, I'm not sure if it is the biggest, and the heart piece. It's really frustrating. See, these chickens are just in the way. And boop, gets the chicken. And the chicken will stay there. <laughs> I mean, Cuckoo, that's, that, that's, that, that's the proper name for it. So now it's out of the way, but it will move into the way, and I hit the blade trap then.
yeah, it's it's absolutely infuriating. Ugh, multiple times hitting the blade trap. Because you have to make sure the chicken's out of the way. And so, and the blade trap as well. And then, but we do get it this time. With two bomb trees to spare. Because this, um, minigame infuriated me so much, I used some really lazy editing from this next bit. Because I just, I just couldn't be bothered fading in, fading out, cross-fading the sound. Doing nice, neat editing. So, this is, this is me getting all the prizes. So this is the second time. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. This is a 50 rupee piece, which means we can... Is it 50? Yeah, it is 50. So we can keep playing. We get, we'll get probably get one more game out of it. Game out of using that piece. Right, we get bomb chews. We actually keep these bomb chews for a long time during the game. I only use them in the Spirit Temple. I don't use them anywhere else. And of course, we want to play again. Is the... I think this might be the bomb bag now. Yeah. The biggest bomb bag. Now we can carry 40 bombs. It's only 40. That's not... Not a lot. And this might be the heart piece now. This took a long time. It's just... It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. So I'm really glad I can edit through the really frustrating, boring bits. And uh, give you guys a nice clean video to watch. I think the, the I might release um, just videos of me failing. Like it might be funny to have like a bit of a gag reel to watch. But I don't know what I'd talk over the top about. <laughs> but anyway, so now we got all of the um, the sounds getting choppy, but now we've got all the prizes that we need to get in this uh, mini game. We basically completed this mini game now, which is really, really relieving. I don't think that's a word. It fills me with relief. Now we return to the happy mask shop. And now we actually don't have enough money to pay this guy back. We don't have any money, luckily. It's it's worth it just to show this guy's reaction. Yeah. This guy, I think this guy, because he has such a front of happiness, like he is just like incredibly angry inside. He's just like this infuriated person. Right, now we can quickly get about 21 rupees. I think that's how many rupees you can get through one cycle of um, smashing all the pots in the guard room. So we'll just go through here and take out our frustrations that the minigame placed in us. This is actually incredibly relaxing. <laughs> when you when you've been through a really frustrating mini game where you're just waiting for everything to be pixel perfect, you know you're waiting for the chicken to line up, you're waiting for the blade trap to line up. Don't get that rupee. That rupee goes away. Oh, you get more rupees. Maybe it's thirty-one rupees, which is actually quite a bit for a cycle through the garden. I think once you get the biggest wallet, the giant's wallet. You know, you need a faster way to get money. That's probably where the the drawbridge exploit comes in handy. I think it's 33 rupees. How many rupees do you normally get through a cycle through here? But anyway, we need to pay back the Happy Mask Man the 20 rupees, and then um, and then we'll be able to get the next mask. Right, luckily he's happy again. <laughs> it's it's as if it never happened. You almost can't see the spooky mask on the top left there, because it's the same color as the wall and the shelf. This is where I got confused. <laughs> You actually don't get a good look at the 3D model of the spooky mask. 
But I, I do show it to you guys when I go to the graveyard. Alright, we're gonna zoom ahead to the graveyard, and we're gonna sell this mask to the little boy that walks around in the graveyard uh, during the day. And that'll be the last thing that we do this episode. So hopefully I've filled this out to 10 minutes. And I think I have. We're at about, we're at about 10, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. So here we are at the graveyard. It's actually really different in nice weather. It actually looks quite peaceful. It's interesting how different parts of the map or different parts of the world take up different aspects depending on what time of day it is and what the weather's like. It's, I think it's, it's one of the really beautiful things about this game. I think that's one of the things that um, Ego Raptor misses when he plays the game as well. Like, he doesn't quite understand the aesthetic of the game. He's, he's got a very different perspective on it that leads this game to not be very interesting to him or not, you know, not succeed as a game for him. Yeah, where did this kid get all this money? <laughs> this kid must be like, must be in the bombers group, like in Majora's Mask. It must, you know, have, there must be some sort of like mafia racket going on and he's at the head of it all. Right, we're going to end the episode here. Um, I hope I took this out to 10 minutes. I was really worried that I was going to make an episode that wasn't 10 minutes. I was, I was worried about that. But anyway, we'll leave it here. Um, I'll see you guys next episode. Hopefully the nice weather here continues and the, and the nice weather continues in the graveyard as well. But um, yeah, we should be, we're on, a, we're on track to get into the next dungeon, but there are a few more things that we have to do this week, like get the magic beans and um, get some more heart pieces so that we're well stocked up for the next dungeon. All right, I'll see you guys next time.